Hi, so just to warn you off the bat, this is going to be an un unboxing video and a bit of a product review. If you don't like that, feel free to skip the video. Okay, first thing, soapbox. Everything takes learning. I mean, everything. You have to learn to eat, tie your shoelaces, and you even have to learn not to pee yourself. It's great that babies can't understand language, because you can imagine what it would be like. You're bound to get somebody somewhere explaining the physics of leverage, aerodynamics, the perfect spoonful, and the baby just be sat there, terrified to eat. Now, I'm a bit of an idiot in that I'm not afraid of that. I don't mind trying to stuff a bit of carrot in my ear. I don't mind if I get food all over the place. I'm ready to learn, and learning means doing. Of course, I'm not a complete imbecile, and it's great to have some kind of assistance. So, Seed, S Triple E D, sent me this thing. Now, Seed, I'm aware of, actually, because I do a fair bit of work with Arduino. I use it mostly for machine control, and I think it's a really useful thing to be able to do, especially in this day and the age. The control of machinery and sensors is really a useful skill to have. And it really is one of those terrifying skills because it's just like those people teaching a baby. There's an awful lot of very good people who've invested a lot of time, who are willing to share, and share just that bit too much. So it's just too much information. You just sit there thinking, OK, so what do I do now? Sometimes all you really need is a kickstart, something that makes it simpler for you. Now, Seed have produced this thing that they say is a great kickstart into it, and it is the Grove Beginner Kit for Arduino. Now, they sent me this for free because they want me to do this video. And I'm quite happy to do the video because I think anything that gives you a bit of an assist to get you going is a good thing. And that's me included. I love things that has give me an assist and get me going on something. So they sent me this to have a look at. What we're gonna do is we're gonna unbox it, lay it out and have a look at it. Okay, so here's what's in the box. There's the board itself. Now the board is all wired up on the back. Tons of information telling you what it is. So you literally don't have to do anything. You can leave it on the board, but they do snap out and it's given these little snap outs. So you can rejig everything to fit in a pretty box if you want. And there are little connector clips on this side that are keyed. So they only click, click in one way. And there's the connector cable, give you power and communication with your computer. Now electronics is all about signal control. And basically you have a sensor that gives information in, an actuator that does something based on that information, and then this thing, a processor, to change the in and to and out depending on what you want to do with it, or rather control the signal. So the sensors provide a signal, the board provides control, the actuators provide the ability to do something. because. What's the point unless you do something? Now this is a beginner kit, so they've clearly made a choice about these things and what they think you're gonna be interested in doing. So we've got an LED, a buzzer, an OLED display, uh, there's a humidity, air pressure, sense accelerometer, light and sound sensors, so you can do basic stuff that you might want to do. But Seed do have, I think they claim 300, 350 other modules to do something with this setup for Arduino on the plug and play. So the idea here is to get rid of the electronics bit, to get rid of the soldering bit, to get rid of the breadboard and the shaky connections that breadboards inevitably give you. So you're getting rid of a whole tool set turning it into plug and play and concentrating on the um, programming of the Arduino because it's the programming of the Arduino where you control the in and out. Seed are no different from other companies. They think their product is awesome and to be honest it's pretty neat. But where Seed and Arduino really win, really knock it out of the park is the support that they give. The support given for this stuff is just astonishing, actually, and it's really easy to get to. All I did was put a Grove Beginner Kit seed in my Google search, and it pops straight up. And you have a look at it. There's so much stuff on there that if I tried to cover any of it, you're probably talking about 20 to 30 videos, and it's all just laid out for you. So the introduce the stuff, they give you projects to do, they give you the Arduino coding, they give you a handheld help 
into stepping into that world of Arduino. And if you go to the Arduino stand and download the IDE, you get exactly the same thing. So one of the reasons Arduino and Seed are so popular isn't so much the product. I mean, I'm not knocking the product. I think the product is awesome, but it's not that. It's the support they give, the hand-holding to get you through those early stages of where you're going to be scared is just there. And it's so easy for you to get to and have a look at. And it's not really terrifying. The projects don't involve anything. All you've really got to do is plug this thing into the back of your computer with that thing, download the IDE, and in five seconds flat, you're going to be blinking an LED or lighting a light because you clap it. And it's all here for you just to follow. So this is the BMW um, brushless motor fan that we used in the previous videos and it was suggested to me to link it up to a speed controller and then we'll be able to get it to run. So I've got an ESC right there and I've put that straight into the Grove Beginner Kit board because we're using the potentiometer as the actual speed controller. So all I had to do was plug in the live and neutral and then the signal wire to the ESC because the signal in is from the potentiometer, the signal out is this green wire that controls the motor's speed. Now this is running off this power supply. The power supply is actually feeding the Arduino as well. So if I turn that on, we should get a couple of beeps telling us it is ready. There it is. There we go. And then, now it draws a lot of power, so I need to give it a little flick start. And we're off! I turn the potentiometer down, it slows down. <coughs> so there we go, using the Grove Beginner Kit as a speed controller to control a brushless motor. On the setup of it actually, it's really not a lot to say about it because it's really simple. I mean, I do really need a fritzing diagram. The uh, black and the red go to the ground and the plus five volts and the signal wire is actually on pin nine, on digital pin nine. The code I've put in the description, so that's the code that I use in order to run the brushless motor. And to install it, I use the Arduino IDE and Grove have a patch for the communication, the serial port communication. It's a USB to UART patch. Uh, I have a Mac which is notoriously difficult to do anything on and actually found it really easy to follow their instructions and install that patch. So the whole thing got set up in about 10 minutes. And as for making this, like I say, it was uh, three jumper cables and, and embarrassingly very little. So hopefully if you want to reproduce it, then that's all the information you're gonna need in order to control a brushless motor. So all in all, it is a pretty neat product. I mean, there's several things I like about it. I mean, they include the standoffs actually, and that really is neat. So if you're sticking this in a project box, you obviously need standoffs and you very often have to get them separately. So they've really thought about it, you know, and really included everything. So I do love the standoffs. The fact that you can snap it out or leave it in, I also like. And when you think about it, there's 10 modules in Arduino board on that for um, $28, what's that, about 20 pounds or so. So that's not bad when you think about it. But like I said, to my mind, it is about the support really that they give but the product itself is quite a nice product i do like it so i'm sure i'll find lots of uses beyond what we did for that anyway i hope you enjoyed the video thank you very much for watching and please do remember to subscribe